All right, let's see if this will work. Let's see if my audio is going to work on this one now. All right, y'all let me know if y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me now? It's working. There we go. I don't know what happened earlier. The audio. They couldn't hear me, but I'm here. I'm back. Everybody pile on in the room. Everybody pile on through. What's up, Grady baby? What's up, Miss Lioness Crowned? What's up, Humble Lady Five? Yeah, man, Future's bodyguard got socked, got sucker punched out there in the UK. And niggas do not get no points for that, man. That was a sucker move, you know, sucker punch dude from the back. So I don't know what that was about. So you jamming me slide now. That's what I got to get back in the studio. I want to do a Mink Slide EP. A lot of folks have been asking about Mink Slide, so I'll be knocking some of that stuff out pretty soon. What's up in the Bay, man? I hope y'all got y'all tickets for the show, for the movie, next Thursday. It's creeping up on us, man. In the Bay. Um, I do want to go to Dubai again. I want to take Lexi there. What's up, Oshun's daughter? How are you, dear? Yeah, you get no no points for that. Where are my LA people, man? Who's in LA? It's not deep to do a track with blue flame. It's hilarious. Where's where do you get where are the fly clothing stores in LA now? Where you can get all the fly player shit. Where where are the stores now? It used to be downtown. You can go downtown. There was a certain sp- couple of spots you can go to. Some of them spots ain't even there no more. Where are my LA people, man? Where's the spots where you can get all the fly, the fly shit? What's up, Shea Boogie? Cause do they still have Men's Land and Fox Hills Mall? I know it's the Westfield Shopping Center now. It can be anybody on. Say Melrose and the Beverly Center. Or New York, New York, downtown L.A., Fox Hill. So is Men's Land still at Fox Hills? Because, yeah, I used to go there a lot. But they changed the name, though, right? Didn't they change the name? This thing said Burlington Coat Factory. It's smaller now, okay. Melrose, man, be having moist shit, though. It be having moist, dainty nigga shit, so. The centers in them. So y'all niggas don't know. Some of y'all don't know. Because usually I have to go to New York somewhere. Like New York, you go to Harlem and everything is right there at your fingertips. You can get all the, the fly shit just right there. But out here, man, I don't, the spots, man. Hurricane on Hollywood Boulevard. You say reach out to Dapper Dan. Yeah, man, we the the spots ain't even popping like that. Man, New York got all of that. We'll find you. Yeah, man, Harlem, Jazzy's, something like that. Um. Um. Jazzy J, whatever the name of the place is. Um, Jimmy Jimmy Jazz, I think that's the name of it. Um, Dr. J's out there in New York. There's a whole bunch of spots. Like, I go to New York and just get it popping. Yeah, we got a garment district downtown, but some of that is kind of... Mm. Jimmy Jazz, yeah. I'm going to say Fashion Nova. Yeah, we ain't got no Jimmy Jazz out here. Yeah, we ain't got that out here. Yeah. Even, you know, because I've ordered stuff. I, I would order stuff online. But the thing is, you got to understand, a lot of times, these stores, 
some of the real fly shit they don't put online because again they get closed all the time so a lot of times they don't have time to just run and update the the website you know when they get a new shipment of clothes in or some new styles in they ain't got time to go hire some new models to wear the outfits they just put them on sale in the store so a lot of stuff on their websites are actually about a year or so old some of the stuff is old you know a lot of folks don't update their website so you know see so Jimmy Jam Jimmy Jazz and Dr. J's fell off yeah. no man we don't a lot of the stores we don't we don't have stores like that like in New York y'all got it popping I mean you can go just go through Harlem and it's just there you know we we got a because we're so spread out, you got to go to Melrose, then downtown, which is another 30, 45 minutes away. Um, then possibly Hollywood Boulevard and then the Swap Meet, then the Fox. Hill. All of these places people are naming. Notice they're way spread out. You know? Yeah, 125th Street has it all. And Atlanta, too. Atlanta got some, some fly shit, too. You can go get some stuff and get dipped in Atlanta real good. So Melrose has new shops popping. Well, last time I went down to Melrose to try to get dipped, it was moist-ass, dainty nigga shit. Oh, man. I They had see-through shirts, leather tank tops. It was a little bit too moist for me. But I'm going I'm to see what Melrose has popping. You dig? I got to see what Melrose has popping. But Melrose has not really been the lick as far as player shit. Just, you know what I'm saying? When you ain't trying to dress like a moist skateboarder. Yeah? And I ain't trying to go to Burlington Coat Factory to be walking around this bitch dressed like Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> no disrespect to Cedric. I like Cedric. I like Cedric. But yeah, I'm you know, I'm, you know, I just need me some some player button downs. Just some player shit. You know, for my travels because I'm about to travel, so I want to have my 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 regular. Shit popping. I don't want to be out there with a gang of just t shirts and all this stuff. The Lennox Mall, Westfield Mall, and Canoga Park. Yeah, I might just see what's popping in Beverly Hills. The men's warehouse. Y'all just name it any goddamn thing. <laughs> TJ Maxx. Y'all just name it anything right now. All right. Fashion, what the hell is Fashion Island? Mm -hmm. No, shop when I get to my destination. That's the thing. Because um, I'm going to the UK, I'm going to Greece. And no, I, I, no, I don't like to wait till I go out of the country to get stuff because a lot of times. You know, maybe having some some of their clothes be kind of funny style. You know, I remember um, I went to France and I was going to get some shit when I got to France and I was going to get some beach clothes. And, you know, when I go to the beach, you know, I wear just regular player shit to the beach. I wear, I wear some big ass swimming trunks, some swim shoes and a tank top. Yeah. You know? Nigga, I got to the beach in San Tropez. It was a bunch of white French dudes walking around that bitch in thongs. And that's all they sold at the shop. Their swimsuits was thongs for men. I'm like, no thank you. I'm cool. I'm going to sit here and eat my croissant. I'm good. I'm cool in the gang. They walk around in thongs like it was the goddamn thing to do. 
And um, yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna have to bring my my shit with me next time, cause yeah, yeah, that that's just not gonna work for me. Ms. Martinez, you going to Greece next September? Well, yeah, Ms. Martinez, you going to Greece? Oh, you going to Greece this September? Are you about to get flued out? Yeah, I'm tall too. That's another thing. I'm six foot four, six five, so I'm tall as shit. I got long ass arms. You then with big ass shoes. I got to order my shoes online. Risa, watch the video on your page. What's the video about? And Miss um, Martinez, who's fluing you out? You getting flued out? Sound like you about to get flued out out there. Miss Martinez, who's flying you out? Who's fluing you out? What's up, the real Natasha? Santa Monica Promenade. J.C. Penny. Say, yeah, little bitty niggas. Y'all yeah, got it made. If you're a little bitty old nigga, y'all got it made, low key. Because y'all, there's all types of choices for y'all. Everything is in your size. Y'all niggas can just get your little outfit at the baby gap and y'all be rocking that shit. You okay? know? It's what you work. All right, that don't mean nothing. Come on. I ain't getting flued out. I work. Please. Girls who got jobs be getting flued out. Don't act like you don't, you don't get flued out because you just got you got a job. As cheap as y'all women are. Women, y'all cheap as hell. Y'all be trying to save your little work money. If you can find somebody to flew you out. <laughs> please, don't, don't sit up here and act like Queen Latifah and shit. Act like the fucking independent woman. Knowing you got a sugar daddy who work at Southwest. Mr. Lonnie. Mr. Lonnie getting you some discount tickets, but you got to fly Southwest. So the plane smell like mothballs. Miss Martinez. Yeah, women, y'all cheap as hell. Come on. I work. But y'all work to pay your own little bills. But y'all like to get flued out by somebody else for the recreation. Please. And, and the way you be posing to be chosen, Miss Martinez, I be seeing your page, Miss Martinez. You be poking the little bubble out. So somebody's flying your ass out. You getting flued out somewhere. Don't appear now. You, you, you popping that bubble out for a reason. You sure, motherfuckers, what you working with? Somebody that sent your ass a ticket. Don't sit here playing. And yeah, Miss Martinez, she's cute. Somebody sent those. You done got flued out, goddammit, and you know it. I know the flued out look. <laughs> yeah, she posing. She showing motherfuckers what she working with. And all of a sudden, she get a trip to Greece coming up. Please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Somebody done sent your ass a ticket. You done got a link to Expedia on your, your phone. Yeah. It's about to be popping. Yeah. Miss Martinez be posing and be chosen. Miss Martinez, she's up in the chat room. She ain't got to upgrade it. She out there with them new fly little lace fronts. Got her edges laid. I'll be seeing your page. Toes did. Please. Uh, let the world know about your... I mean, oh, get your ass on camera, Miss Martinez. Y'all see, because she's cute. She, it's late at night. She might have her bonnet on, but let's... Cameras. I know your bonnet is on. Get on here so we can call out your lies. Acting like you ain't getting flued out. <laughs> her page is private. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get her on live. She's probably sitting up there with the nigga now. She's in there. Ooh, shh, don't say nothing. 
how do I cancel this live? <laughs> she's in there laying up with the nigga who she's flying to Greece with. And he probably got some grease on the counter that he's going to use for a lubricant. <laughs> That's where the grease is, right? <laughs> See, she ain't getting on live. That nigga's laying up in the bed right now. While they planning their itinerary. Oh, Miss Martinez. Mm. Man. Risa, what happened with your son, dear? Look at Miss Martinez. Didn't get on. <laughs> Ms. Martinez, you didn't want us to see your sugar daddy. He's sitting up on there watching old reruns of Judge Mathis laying up with you right now. <laughs> Come on, Ms. Martinez. We, we we don't mind Mr. Lonnie getting on camera. See, we got to be careful because last time, remember when we had um old girl from Atlanta on and her dude, Crazy Red, popped on camera? You in the East Coast, you in bed. You, how come you didn't get on camera, Miss Martinez? Are you not camera ready right now? Why did you not get on camera? You better not be laying up there with no Mexican. You just got you a Hispanic sugar daddy. Don't be embarrassed. Let Pablo get on camera with you. <laughs> That's why your name is Martinez. You wouldn't got you a Hispaniard. You got a, a Hispanic drug kingpin. No wonder you're looking so fly. And the nigga, yeah, you, you laying up there with Carlos. And that's why your name is Martinez, because this nigga gave you 10 stacks to marry him so he can get his citizenship. So you're a 90 day fiance. You don't want me to see Pablo. No, let me see him. And you got them 10 stacks and you glowed up. Uh, Miss Martinez got them 10 stacks and leveled up on our ass. That's, that's why you be posing in them little fly clothes and your cute fucking toes done. You a cute little drug mule. That nigga gonna have you walk across the border with a brick. And now you gotta help him break it down and flip it before the 90 days is up. <laughs> Lord. Your dad is Dominican. Okay. <laughs> uh, mm. yeah, yeah, you, you were there flipping something, Miss Martinez. You get, you should have got your ass on camera. We don't care because you got your bonnet on and you hot and your Dominican press and curl. Man, I'm really concerned about old girl in Crazy Red. Dude, I asked, because I, I sent her a message. I'm like, well, shit, are you okay? <laughs> she never responded. I got a little, I think Crazy Red then kind of hemmed her up a little bit. And yeah, man, real talk. I think we got her in trouble with Crazy Red because that nigga look crazy. And, you know, she started talking about certain things and, and dude just kind of popped up on her. I'm like, oh, damn. Yeah, I think Crazy Red might have might have kind of put in a hold or two. You might have... <laughs> I'm not trying to be accusatory, but shit. I think Crazy Red might have <laughs> snatched up a little bit. I ain't saying he did nothing to her. She was a cute sister. But yeah, she ain't been back on live since. Yeah, I think they done went to Lake Lanier. Shit. Yeah, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning down there. That nigga popped on camera in a full tracksuit and some Hennessy. Like, shit. Nigga, where are you coming from? <laughs> and she was real nervous around him. I'm like, damn, sister, won't you... If, if, if you're in danger, won't you blink? 
three times a cough. And then afterwards, she put a page on private. I'm like, God damn. Shit. <laughs> so he had on a green feeler suit, smoking Reggie. <laughs> so he was smoking some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, my nigga had on a track suit at three in the morning with a big ass bottle of yak. Like, nigga, where are you coming from? That's why I want to know where that where did he come from? Where, where was that nigga at that time of night in a full suit? <laughs> Clearly doing some shit that he ain't supposed to be doing. Yeah. So, you know, I, ho I hope that sister is all right. I hope I didn't get her in trouble. And I, that's the thing. I don't want to get none of y'all ladies in trouble. So, you know, you know, that's why sometimes when I ask y'all to get on live and y'all laying next to that abusive nigga. You know, why don't y'all, I need to give y'all some signals to type to let us know you're in danger so we can send somebody. Ladies, I'm going to give y'all a code, ladies. If Ladies, if um, you you in here in the chat room and you're talking and you're trying to relay some messages, just type Candyman. And that'll let me know that things are not really right where you are. And I'll try to see if I can get somebody over there to you. Just type Candyman. Yeah, type, yeah, that's the code word, Candyman. So when you say Candyman three times, a nigga pop up in your window on your ass. So that's going to be the code word. Ladies, if there's a nigga fucking with you and you can't talk, just type Candyman. We know what's going on. And we'll try to get somebody over there to get him up off of you. You did. Let's see. Y'all be talking all that independent woman. Yeah, I fuck these niggas. Real last bit to give a fuck about a nigga. And then that nigga come home and shoe beat your ass. You getting your ass whooped with a shoe. Y'all stop playing and let a motherfucker know you in danger. Stop all that city girl shit. Like you running niggas and knowing this nigga's shoe beating your ass. Yeah. Out here suffering. Let a nigga know so we can help your ass. Take you to a shelter. I'm trying to hide shit. Because you're trying to save face because your mama told you the nigga was abusive. Your mama be knowing. <laughs> your, your nigga met your mama. Your mama said, hey, I feel an abuse spirit on this nigga. <laughs> your mama be knowing. Your mama told you. Mama, you don't know shit. You just don't want to see me happy, mama. Fuck you, mama. You cuss your mama out. Fuck you. Ain't no abuse spirit on him. That's why you stay at the church, mama. All right. Then I think I'm get the drink and you came home late. And your, your jeans just a little bit too tight. And all of a sudden, that spirit done came up out his ass. And that nigga took off his damn Air Force Ones and plopped your ass in the back of your ear. Yeah, y'all play with these niggas, man. You out there trying to have a hot girl summer. And you come home and get a plantation ass whooping from a crazy ass nigga you ain't supposed to be with. Y'all leave these crazy niggas alone. Yeah. Man. Leave these niggas alone who's crazy as hell. And some of y'all niggas leave these, some of these women abusive to some of these niggas. I see a lot of that. I see women hemming dudes up. They, they get these niggas who's docile and you, you need to bounce. These women be hemming niggas up. And that's another thing, dudes. I be saying dudes get hemmed up by women. And I know you don't want to hit nobody, whatever, but these women be putting y'all niggas in headlocks and shit. God damn. Yeah, nowadays women be hemming the dudes up a little taste. Y'all got to shut that shit down too. Yeah, I saw that video of the, the chick on the plane. Oh my gosh, she's cussing this dude out.
Yeah, man. Some of these women get abusive, nigga. And you don't want to put your hands on them. You know, one time I had an ex one time. She got mad at me and threw a phone and hit me in my eye with a fucking phone. My my chick, and I broke up with her ass. But she got, and she wasn't no physical, it was a little bitty, dainty, cute chick. This fool, I came home late or whatever, and she just hauled off and threw a fucking phone and hit me in the damn eye. And it was one of them fold up flip phones. So them little flip phones, like, it ain't like an iPhone. You, it's like throwing a ball at somebody. This motherfucker hit me in my goddamn eye with a fucking phone. Now, we were, to, we we're sitting on the bed talking. We're talking. She's like, where were you? What the fuck you mean? Where am I? I mean, damn. You know, I didn't want her questioning me. I'm a motherfucking player. Fuck you. This is my player days. That's when you, you that, I was young and I was a player. So you ain't supposed to question the motherfucking player. You're like, where you been? Fuck you mean where I been? I'm out, I'm out here doing me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't married. I mean, you, you questioning my Mac in? I mean, damn. And she just sitting there <laughs> and didn't say shit. Didn't say nothing. She didn't yell or nothing. Just she was fucking with her phone. And then I'm like, yeah. so you ain't going to tell me where you were? I'm like, I'm not even doing me. I'm, you know, I'm chilling. Forgive me. I was handling some business. You know, but I don't, I don't like you questioning me and all that. So, <clears throat> and then threw the fucking phone at me. Just, I'm like, did this motherfucker just hit me in the face with a phone? Really? Really, you threw a fucking phone at me and hit me in my eye with a goddamn phone? Ain't this a bitch? And she, she I, I, I don't know if she wanted me to hit her, but I, what I wasn't going to do. You know, because you know, sometimes they be trying to bring some emotion out of nigga. I went in the bathroom, and there was a, a cup on the counter, and I filled the cup with water, and I threw water on her weave. That was my way of getting back at her. I threw water on her because I knew I wasn't gonna hit her. That ain't no. She she probably liked that. I threw water on her fucking weave. She would wear these luxurious weaves. She wore these beautiful weeds. This was before lace fronts. This is the sew-in. And I threw water on her weave. And she ran the fuck out the house. That's how I got her. Yes. I threw water on her weave, nigga. Fucked her up. Nigga, she bounced. Yeah. You don't know here, you ain't got to punch on nobody. You wet that weave up. They'll stop all that violence. Yeah. Yeah, stop that violence overnight. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna throw shit at my ass no more. Yes, yeah, she ran out of her house. She ran and went to her crib. We didn't live together. She would come to my crib and she would stay the night and all that. But she took her ass home and made an appointment. Because she's one of those real vain chicks. She, she don't go out the house. She she was like one of the most chicks who would just she would she would have to come out the house with makeup, hair, just you know, she's one of them kind. Never go out the house with without no makeup. Never go out the house without her hair done. So she that was her shit. So I knew that would get her. I knew that would get her ass. Yeah. Yo, so she ran out the crib, went home, and made a made an appointment. Because she was not going to be seen with that wet, puffy, <laughs> her leave out. I turned that leave out into an afro. 
You dig? Man. It wasn't a chirp phone. No, it was a little hard ass flip phone. And I hope she's listening too, because she knows exactly exactly who she is. Hit me in the fucking face with a phone. You're gonna hit a player. How are you gonna hit a player in the face with a phone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that is what it is. But yeah, sometimes these women be getting abusive. They get abusive too. No, oh, I wasn't about to break now, fingernail. See, when you start doing that, that's a bust of shit. That that means they got you. If you gotta start hitting on them, that's your your mouthpiece ain't crisp no more. See, that means you done ran out of game. That's the old saying. When you gotta start laying your hands on them, that means they got you. They done took they done taking you into an emotional space. You know, so you always got to be cool. You always got to handle people without that. Because once you go there, they know they got you. They know they got a, a buster. When they can break you down where you can't do nothing but get physical. You know, that's a psychological trick that some of these women play on niggas. Yeah. Yeah, Pina be watching my lives. Yeah, she be watching my lives. Yeah, Pina is a lovely, sweet thing. She's going to get young and made to a sauce. <laughs> Man. Routine, that's a but um, y'all need to go get to um, that Hidden Colors package, by the way, at HiddenColorsFilm.com. What's up, Miss She Supreme? Where's your dude? She Supreme's husband was in 1804. He was one of the Haitian rebels. She Supreme, did you ever come to the set? I can't remember if you came to the set or not. Miss She Supreme. Peanut's gonna pop my bunion. If, if she, <laughs> okay, you didn't come. She okay. Yes, the real Natasha. You're going to love it. You are going to love the film. Was the Bussy brother in here? Yeah, I know he's in. Oh, he's in here. I'm just not, you know. I can kind of tell his tweets. I mean, his um things, like his um comments. I can tell when it's him. Oh, okay, yeah, that's one of the Bussy Brothers. Okay, let me block him. Okay, yeah, I went on and blocked him. All right. Um, in New York, is at the SVA Theater. Yes, Hidden Colors is playing in Houston. What's up, Brandy the Barbette? It is playing in Houston at, uh, I can't think of the name of the theater, but it's, it's playing in Houston. So go to HiddenColorsFilm.com. HiddenColorsFilm.com. Yes. So we got a Hidden Colors package where you can get the entire five DVD series, one through five. You can pre-order that now at HiddenColorsFilm.com. You can own the entire set, ladies and gentlemen. This, is, this set is the most important set that you ever want to see. You dig?
You taking your girlfriend, bro? That's what's up, man. What's up, DJ Scrap Dirty? Everybody say what's up to DJ Scrap Dirty in the house. Yeah, we're working on L.A., man. Trust me, we're working on L.A. because, like I said, the theater emailed me earlier. They said a lot of people are calling the theater, just really, really asking about another screening because the first one is sold out. And that's a big theater, too. That seats like 400 and something people. So that's a pretty big theater. And, you know, we're working on it. You know, we're, we're trying to see what we can do. So some of y'all might have to go see the Chucky movie or you got to go see Lion King. But we're going to work and see. She's Supreme, you coming through? Do y'all have your tickets, She's Supreme, you and your husband? Your buck breaking, I'm still writing the treatment out for buck breaking, and I want to start filming in a couple of months. Good. That's a good thing, She's Supreme, because, yeah, a lot of people are upset because the, um, they didn't get the tickets on time. I kept telling people, you better get your tickets because it's going to sell out early, and it sold out early. And I think it's mad. It calling the theater all mad. <laughs> Niggas just sitting on the phone mad calling the movie theater. You've reached the Little Late Theater for Lion King. They banned for Lion King, press one. Nigga, fuck one. For <laughs> Harry Potter, press two. Nigga, fuck a two. Eh, that's the wrong button. Man, shit. Hello? Name the movie you want to see. Hidden Colors. We did not hear your selection. Name the movie you want to hear, to see. Hidden Colors 5. We did not hear your selection. <laughs> Name the movie you want to see. Hidden fucking Colors 5. Jurassic Park, press 2. Hell no, man. Operator, goddammit. <laughs> it is frustrated and mad calling the movie theater. <laughs> Goddamn. So y'all should have got your tickets early. You should have got your tickets early, man. Now y'all mad and calling the theater. You're frustrated. <laughs> Get your tickets early. And, and that goes for all these other cities. Don't call the theaters mad. Get your tickets early. The, the, it's going to sell out. I keep telling y'all, y'all want to wait till the last minute. You want to trick your money off on weed and strip clubs and then save you the last 20 bucks to go get your ticket and the tickets are gone so you know. <laughs> but uh anyway let me get out of here man but yo y'all have a good night go to hiddencolorsfilm.com hiddencolorsfilm.com y'all holla